who have been very outspoken in recent months about events in Kashmir, in Indian administered uh, Kashmir. And it was something again that uh, you brought up with President Trump. He's said he's willing to help if, if he thinks that the United States uh, can help. But when all of this began, when India revoked the special status of Kashmir back, uh, back in August, you compared the Indian government to the Nazis. You said, will the world stand by and watch like they, like they watched Hitler at Munich? Did, did you mean to make that comparison? Absolutely. Uh, India at the moment is being run by an extremist ideology, which is called RSS. RSS got its inspiration in 1925 when it was formed by the Nazi party. This is the organization that is the precursor, if you like, to the BJP party of Prime Minister <coughs> Modi. But and that, Prime that, Minister Modi is a life member of this party. But that is not what we are seeing in India right now. There are clearly nationwide protests. There are Muslims who feel that their identity is at stake. But to many people, the comparison with the Nazis will seem not only far-fetched, but offensive. It's Well, I mean, all you have to do is read what the founding fathers of uh, RSS said. What is happening in, in Kashmir is shocking. Eight million people are in an open prison for over five months. 